Hello, it's Penny from Active and Fit. Today, 30 minutes yoga core. So we're gonna be focused on our midsection and also our hips, front body, back body, and side body. All you need is a nice space to move around. If you have props, a strap, blocks, feel free to grab those and use those. If you don't have those, we would like when you're seated to really keep a nice long spine. It's recommended to get some blankets, stack them up so you can elevate your hips a bit. With that, let's go ahead and get our bodies moving. Again, focused on our midsection where all of our movement comes from. So important to keep this area strong and stable. So we're gonna start today in a seated position. Again, you're welcome to elevate your hips so that we can get that nice length in our spine. Hands can come down or up, and we're just gonna take a second to shut our eyes and to come in. Yoga is time for our own self-care. You had a busy day, or even if you're just getting going, it's good just to settle in. Just take a moment to be still and calm. Gently open our eyes, fingertips to your mat, chest lifted, inhale all the way to the belly as you reach up, and then on the exhale, we're just going to do a little twist, looking over your shoulder. Inhale, up center, and then exhale, twisting to the opposite direction. that your perfect pace moving with your breath we're feeling the bottom breath down as we reach up and really noticing that length in our spine as we twist thinking inhale expand Exhale and rotate. Go ahead and even yourself out. And then we'll come back into easy seated. Cross your legs the opposite way. You may notice a little more tightness in the hips this way. We are up tall, bottoms grounded, and we're just gonna start making circles. You may feel this in a variety of spaces. Your bottom is grounded. Feel your hips, your back. This is a really nice one to shut your eyes on as well. If you sit a lot during your work day, so important to break up that sitting with movement. After your next circle, pause center. We're just going to circle the opposite direction. And when we shut our eyes, it brings us in. Internal awareness. And it's just a nice time out from our obligations. After 
one more circle, come center. Palms up, shoulders relax. Just loosen your neck to the front. Ear to shoulder, chin to chest, ear to shoulder. One more in each direction. And gently come up. Take three deep breaths all the way into the belly. Big breath in. Exhale, hands to heart center. Get a deep breath in. Exhale. And one more. Big breath in. Exhaling. And pausing for just a moment, taking notice of any shifts early on in our practice. Body, mind, spirit. It's amazing how just a few minutes of deep breathing and gentle movement can really change our energy, change where we're at. And we're gonna go ahead and release all fours. Hands can be spread out, starfish, or you can make this for wrists. We're stacking everything, shoulders and wrists, hips and knees, belly pulled up and in, space between your shoulders and ears. Right here, feel that belly pulled up and in. Like keep fluid breath. We're going to start our cat and cow. Inhale, looking ahead, and then exhale, holding the belly in as you round your spine. That. Your perfect pace. Inhale, open. Exhale and round. Flexion and extension of our spine. Two more. your thighs. You can walk your hands forward, keep them by your side. You can even stack your fists and let your head relax down. Just hold back in child's pose. Your bottom goes towards your heels. You may feel good to rock a little side to side or to stay still. Take a few deep breaths right here in child's pose. Down dog. 
Shifting forward into plank, holding. Hips are nice and level with those shoulders. We're breathing, feeling that core fire up. Now we can continue this. I'm gonna show one modification. We're in kneeling plank. Now you can pull back to down dog or to child's pose. Shift forward again into plank of your choice. Really firing up that midsection. And then shift back into down dog or child's pose. We have two more rounds. Shift forward into plank. And then shift back into down dog or child's pose. One more time, shifting forward, feeling that heat build. And then back into down dog or child's pose. If you're in down dog, we're all gonna meet back in child's pose. Take a few deep breaths.
of the knee to cap down. So we come up, find that strong plank. Inner thighs are squeezing together. Shoulders are over your elbows. So we tap, squeeze up. Tap, squeeze up. Option two. We can be on our hands and knees, everything's tapped. And we're just gonna lift that knee up a little bit. As you lift that knee, you should really feel right where the belly button is pull towards the spine. So continuing your perfect one, gaze is down once you have this. And you should feel maybe even trembling through that midsection. Focus in on it, use your breath. Let's try four more. And after that fourth one, we're gonna meet in child's pose. Taking that breath, oh, feeling that retreat. And let's shift forward one more time. Using that upper body to slowly lower you down. Go back into baby cobra one more time. So again, fingertips. Actually, lift up off the mat. It's your back body holding you up here. Top of the toes are pressed down. We're just breathing so comfortably breathing as the elbows pull back towards your bottom. Hips, thighs, and toes are pressed down. Feeling that powerful back body engage. Three more breaths. Kick the 
hand our legs and lift up. You can look up, center, or down. So pick any option. You should feel that side body facing the ground. Really working, keep breathing. Remember the other option. Maybe you come up for a little bit. Then you come back with that kickstand leg. Two more breaths. And then release. Turn it. Slowly lower your body all the way down. Let's come back into baby cobra. This time, pretending like we have a beach ball between our hands, expanding our chest. Keeping the breath. Toes are down, connecting with your mat. Chin is tucked in, neck feels comfortable. Two more breaths. And release down. Pull back into child's pose. Oh. We'll come back into that kneeling position. Prepping the opposite side for what's called gate pose. Take that left leg out, foot is connected, torso is tall, right arm reaches up. Oh, and we slide, opening up that side body. And we can look up, center down. Where does it feel good for your neck? It's really opening back, keeping that body like it was between two walls. A couple more breaths. Feel the grounding and then feel the reaching from the fingers. Knee and foot are grounded, fingers reach. We're going to cartwheel it over for side plank. And we have an option. This is coming right here, reaching up. Maybe lifting that outer leg. Remember, you can also kickstand. You can even stack those hips and lift that outer leg. Feeling it right in the sides. Holding right there. Keep breaths. You pick your perfect way. Showing lots of options. Keep breathing. The leg is lifted, your foot is flexed, the toe is towards your knee. Three more breaths, maybe you're trying a couple versions as we hang out here. It's okay to play in yoga, it's okay to change it up. And release down. Cartwheel it over. And slowly chaturanga down. To find baby cobra again. Working into that beach ball. And maybe if you have the space, hooking your thumb or taking your palms together for chest expansion. Powerful back body here. Keeping your breath. And release down. One more child's pose. Oh. Hips pull back. Really relax it. Feel your bottom sinking to your heels as your hands walk out. And as your head relaxes down. Overhead. We're going to lift the hips up 
heels are just a few inches from the bottom. And then all the way down, palms come back to your mat. Inhale, lift your hips up, expand. Exhale, round back down. Let your head and shoulders really connect with the floor. As you're lifting those hips, think nice and even. Again, we're building a really strong back body right here. Feeling our glutes, our hamstrings, our low back stabilizing. Move at your perfect pace with control. Again, try to deepen that breath. Inhale. And exhale. Two more rounds. We're going to meet at the top of the bridge. So this next one, hands are going to stay on your mat. Lift your hips up and just hold. So right at the top of that bridge, holding, may feel good to press your arms into your mat to help with the chest expansion, or to even reach up. Just hold right there, relax your head, relax your neck. Nice, fluid breath. As we're just feeling the hamstrings and your bottom. Again, that back body stabilizing. Three more deep breaths in and out. everything down. Hug both of your knees into your chest. Feel the entire spine pressing down. Tailbone all the way through your neck and maybe rock a little side to side. Massage out that low back. And hold in. Relax your feet down. And we have a couple options for yogi bicycles. We're going to be doing one side at a time. Hands come behind your head. Head pushes into your hands. Now option one is we can start with either side. We're going to go opposite armpit and knee. We're going to exhale, come in, and then inhale down. Exhale in. With that subtle pause and come down. Now another option is we can come in. And we can press that leg out. Nice and slow and control. Again, pushing your head into your hands, driving this motion with your obliques that wrap around your midsection. Use your breath. Quality over quantity. The more we focus in, the more we feel it. Two more. And one more. Release down. Take your hands out. Take your feet a little wider than your mat. Let's do windshield wipers. Both knees drop in one direction. The hip pushes forward. Hold right there. With control, knees come up center, we're just switching sides. And then gently come up, walk the feet in. This is the opposite side, so opposite armpit to the knee. Big breath in, exhale, picking your option, and really feeling it on the way up on the way out. Exhaling, inhaling. You may even want to shut your eyes on this and see where am I really feeling this? Can I get my obliques to kick in more? The more focus we have, the more that we engage the right muscles.
out five more on the side. As you lengthen that leg, you really wanna feel the belly engage. Feel any strain in the low back, that is your indicator to change your motion, make it smaller. Down. Take the feet wider than the mat, hands out. One more set of those windshield wipers. Rotate over, press the hip out. This feels so good. Let the rest of your body get heavy right now. So arms, shoulders, maybe even shut your eyes. And come up center, and we'll switch sides. right? In some other classes I say I become a sweaty mess and in yoga it's going to be messy hair. Right? I don't care. <laughs> Anyways, this is Penny from Active and Fit. Thank you so much for joining. These videos are on YouTube. You can repeat them. So if you like this practice, it's an excellent one to do a few times a week. It's really good to increase that awareness of our midsection and planks are awesome for stabilization, co-contraction of those muscles that support our spine. And I don't care how long you've been planking, you can always focus in a little more, get things activated a little more. There's always little tweaks we can make to our form and to any exercise. Drink some water and I hope to see you for another class soon. Penny from Active and Fit. <laughs>